Clone Wars Season 5, Episode 5, Gone Without a Trace. So Ahsoka Tano is officially back. It is actually weird to see her as the young version. After watching Rebels for so long, it was, it was actually funny. I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, it didn't really register with me that she would be the younger version. It was just like, oh, it's cool. You know, we'll see more of Ahsoka and what happened with her. And then actually watching the episode, I was like, this is a little weird. Like she's younger and you know, like if you watch Rebels, obviously she's a lot taller than she is in this show. And um, it's technically not her hair, but her flesh meat, her head thing, her, her, her tendrils um, are longer and stuff like that. So it was like, oh, this is weird. This is very interesting to watch. But I really enjoyed the episode. It was definitely a calmer episode compared to you know, the last four that we got with the clones and the Bad Batch and all their crazy antics. It was definitely a much calmer episode. They had some crazy stuff happening. I mean, the beginning of the episode was Ahsoka, like, plummeting almost to her death because her little speeder bike was, like, messing up in the air, which was funny. When that happened, that was the first time that ever occurred to me, ever watching Star Wars, like, oh, man, they have flying cars. What happens if something breaks down? I've literally never thought that until this exact moment. I've seen, they show ships crash all the time and I've never thought what if one just fell randomly like it just it literally never occurred to me until this moment and I was like how has that not happened all like it's just flying ships all over the place I've never once thought what happens if like an, an engine blows you just plummet and that's exactly what happens there were no like safety precautions I mean she was also technically on like a space motorcycle but even if, if it was anything else it was still the same thing and it was just like huh yeah, people would just drop and they'd be dead and that's it. And that just, it never occurred to me. But an interesting opening, doing some cool wall running parkour style moves to save herself. Um, you know, trying to do her best not to reveal that she's a Jedi. Because the scene when she like almost flips over, I was like, she could have just hopped off and used the force. And she could have just like slowed herself down and she would have been totally fine. But uh, she almost flips over. Of course, everything works out and it's all good. And that's where she runs into Trace, who is, I'm assuming, going to be like her new buddy in 1313 which has to be a reference to the unfortunately canceled star wars 1313 game which i still wish they would come out with that i i know they won't but whatever there have been a lot of canceled games that i don't like to think about especially just for star wars they canceled 1313 there was a, a darth maul game which technically george lucas ruined that admittedly um they tell the story where they had to literally like change the whole game because he was like oh he saw darth maul and the character that was kind of in that same species and he was just like all oh, of their friends and they're like well no because she's like she lived like centuries you know thousands and thousands of years before it's like no they're friends that's like the actual story and george lucas is the reason that like the darth maul game got killed because they had to literally like redo that whole thing because george lucas came in so that is one of those times where i'm like mm, i almost had a darth maul game and i'm still upset about that but anyway they're on 1313 ahsoka's trying to figure out all right how do i fix this thing i don't have any credits i want to you know get topside or or at least get away get somewhere that i want to be and so of course she ends up befriending this mechanic who wants to just kind of leave and live off in the star so i feel like that's pretty much automatic uh, unless this character <clears throat> excuse me unless this character and her sister get killed off odds are they're gonna end up fixing that ship and ahsoka will kind of take off before she ends up kind of running into anakin however that ends up playing out as well because we still have to see what is it that makes her go back into the fold of you know working with the jedi where does she you know where does she get her lightsabers and stuff like that there are a million questions she has a lot of stuff to do you know this season so i assume her new friend as well as her sister whose name i totally forgot um, I assume that the, all three of them will end up fixing this ship and they will eventually, uh, kind of get off of Coruscant. But for now, they're just kind of working things out. She ends up making a friend. She watches her friend get beat up. Her friend, Trace was a decent fighter. Um, she, she threw some solid punches. She took some solid punches and then it's like, all right, you can help. And then Ahsoka came in with like the Jedi martial arts and was just like kicking and flipping and then kicked the dude in the nuts. And then it was like, okay, that was pretty sick. And you know, they, they're all gone. So then, of course, we meet Trace's sister, and, you know, it, like, as soon as she showed up, I was like, okay, I, I know this character. Like, they even talked about her. I was like, oh, she said she was going to go meet you, and I was just like, I know this character. She's the older sister who, you know, she has to be tough, but it's gotten to the point where it's just, like, she's she's reckless as well. Like, she's, she's stuck to her own mantra where it was like, you can't trust anyone, so you have to trust yourself, that thing. I think she's kind of just stuck to her own mantra too long. But also she's the older sister, so that's kind of where it, it just trapped her in that situation. Like, I have to protect Trace. So, you know, like I know that, you know, we see those types of characters all the time. She's like, 
the, you know, the scammer with the heart of gold type of thing. And Trace is kind of like a bit more innocent because she's not dealing, she's not the one doing all the deals to make the money. She's just trying to make the ship. And then her sister's the one that kind of has to do all the deals because she's older, so she was already doing it anyway. So I was like, okay, you know, like she seems kind of, you know, iffy a little bit, but it's like, I know, you know, she's, it's coming from a good place and all that stuff. So they end up making these crazy droids they rebuild them they just wake up which i thought was really interesting i was like okay they just power up on their own and just start flipping out and stuff so they have a crazy chase with a giant basically it was like a mini king kong because this thing was like flipping and spinning and just like knocking stuff down and it all i guess it was about to just grab this kid and squeeze it in a pulp or something um but trace is able to like you know push the button at the last minute and of course ahsoka uses her abilities they have a little character um that reminded me a lot of it was obviously like her uh her species which i don't know that species but it definitely reminded me of her brother because it was obviously a male um of that species i, I don't know um but it reminded me of her brother because i was like oh he's got like the thick uh eyebrow muscles i guess technically didn't have eyebrows and i was like he's got like the thick eyebrows and stuff and he had like the two and i was like huh that reminds me a lot of uh, Hera, but I think they're technically the same age. Uh, based on Rebels, I, I don't think Hera is any younger than Ahsoka, so I'm like, that wouldn't be a brother, because I think her brother was uh, older than Hera in Rebels. So I was like, oh, that's interesting that they chose that very specific species. Um, I think they had Lothcats in there as well when they first showed uh, Trace's sister, like, running, or, like, walking towards the alley, and all the Lothcats kind of, like, ran out, and I was like, oh, that's cool. They put the Lothcats in there. That's, that was cute. Um, but I, I like the little chase sequence that they had, and of course, Ahsoka could have ended it a lot earlier, but of course, she doesn't want to reveal that she's a Jedi, so it was interesting, I was like, she's in a weird spot, because she could totally end this if she just, like, lifted the thing, I, I feel like she was powerful enough to just stop, or at least slow it down, like, she could have slowed it down enough to where Trace could have hopped on it and pushed a button way before all the cr crazy chaos that they actually went through, but I liked it, I thought it was a nice little chase sequence, and like I said, mm, excuse me. Like I said, they go through, Trace is able to like hit the button before the kid gets squished. And then of course the droid falls, Ahsoka's able to catch it, which I thought was really interesting that the thing caught it and didn't move. Like she caught it and then the thing started to like slowly lean. And I was like, that was a huge robot falling from like 50 feet up in the air. And she just caught it on this little, you know, on these little clamps and it just stopped instantly. And then slowly um, started to drag the ship down. I was like, that's not how physics work, but whatever um and so of course she ends up trying to you know do everything she can to cover her identity and so she tries to use the winch and it starts to work a little bit then it fails and then it's like all right time for me to use the force because i don't want this girl to die so she uses the force they get the robot sit you know she saves trace everything's fine it's like all right let's see what ends up happening you know they have their little moment where they they get their money they pay off their debt to the first guy and now you know ahsoka says she's going to try her best to kind of leave because she doesn't want to kind of get in the way between the two sisters but we know she's going to be there for a minute and they're going to be friends and then we'll just kind of see what happens eventually trace is going to find out she's a jedi her sister's going to find out she's a jedi or former jedi try to use that to their advantage it's going to cause some turmoil this and that i feel like it's going to be kind of obvious but i think it'll at least be entertaining to watch because it'll just be cool um love the episode visually also i thought it was very interesting like they did a lot of stuff where it was like you know characters being out of focus they did like a lot of close-ups and we didn't see that a lot in like the the mini arc with the clones it was just you know it was mostly like wide shots because it was like you have you know the bad batch is like five people in itself and then you know you add on we got two other clone troopers and then you also have anakin coming into play so it was a lot of like wide shot cool action you know big action sequences and in this episode it was a lot of really cool visual stuff where like they would you know just blur people out or it would like one person would be in focus in the background and then it would switch to when the other person was talking just like normal tv but it looked cool because i was like oh we haven't seen that and, you know, this is episode five, and it was just interesting kind of going through, and it's like, oh, I didn't notice any of the, you know, like, it looks better than it used to. That was, like, the only thing I noticed. I was like, oh, the show definitely looks better, but in this, it was literally, like, you know, that is blurred out in the background, and it was, like, very visual stuff, and it was, like, it was slower, so you notice the visuals more. Like, you see it more than you just kind of experience it, because the last couple episodes were like, holy crap, it's, it's war. It was, like, the experience this because it's a cool action segment, and this episode was like, just kind of soak it all in and see everything and like pay attention to what's happening here and there. And so it was a lot slower and visually 
it changed because of that and i really appreciated that so i, I like the way it was handled i don't know if other people care at all about that i i just like that sort of thing i, I noticed that stuff visually uh so for me i loved it i was like oh that's really cool it, it just fits the slower pace of the episode it's more cinematic i think that's the best way to put it i was given my giant explanation it's more cinematic that's the easy way to say it but i liked how they handled that i thought that was really well done so i'm looking forward to it um whatever ends up happening next i assume based on how they did the last couple episodes where it was like this is the story and that's it i feel like that might be how the whole season plays out which i wouldn't hate if it was just like you know they did the bad batch mini arc or you know rescue echo arc and then this is like ahsoka's resurgence arc or you know whatever you want to call it and so we'll probably get another four episodes and i don't know how many we're supposed to get total i also don't know if anything's technically being slowed down you know as far as the virus stuff and things like that I don't know how many episodes they have you know, planned in advance. I, this is like the only thing I haven't heard. Like we've been hearing all the movie cancellations. And of course, the uh, Marvel shows for Disney Plus have also been uh, delayed and things like that. So I don't know what the deal is as far as Clone Wars. You know, technically, they don't have to be outside to do that, but it could still be, you know, so many people. It's typically when it's a recording thing, it's only like a couple people at a time anyway, if they even have multiple people recording at the same time. That in itself is super rare. It's, it's honestly like the people you know on the soundboard and like one person records their whole you know all their lines for one episode so i think it's a little bit different when it comes to clone wars because i think that was the thing with rebels it was like they liked having everyone there at the same time so who knows that could change um they might do it one at a time and that could just make it take a little bit longer for episodes to come out i don't really know i haven't looked into it but i also hadn't heard anything like that's one of the things that always pops up kind of on my random radar is like star wars stuff and you know delays and all that so haven't seen or heard anything uh hopefully that doesn't change it would be great to have that <laughs> you know at least have you know clone wars here while we're kind of dealing with isolation and all that good you know good stuff um but definitely a fun episode i really enjoyed i i actually like the slow pace i could totally understand if people were kind of a little bit bored i could totally see that just because of how crazy the last few were but i i love this episode i actually thought it was really cool especially because it was just ahsoka's first episode so i think it was like no matter what happens, I'm going to like this episode because we see what Ahsoka is now doing. And the fact that it's, you know, the lower levels of Coruscant, we never see that. We could have, but once again, they canceled 1313. Um, so I, I'm excited to see where we go in these next couple of episodes with Ahsoka and Trace as well as her sister and whatever crazy antics I'm sure are to come once they find out she's a Jedi or a former Jedi because that's, that's basically automatic. It's always the case. You find out that the person used to be this thing and that's an, up, you know, that's an advantage for you to get more money and we know how her sister is. That's just how it's going to work out. Like, it, we know it's going to happen but at least it'll be entertaining to watch. But that's my thoughts on the episode. Certainly enjoyed it. Can't wait to see what we get next. But of course, we'll love to know what you guys thought about it. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, least favorite parts about it. And I would definitely love to know your predictions um, and hopes as far as Ahsoka's storyline for, you know, at least this, you know, little portion that we have right now. Because obviously we know she's going to end up going back and, you know, helping out the clones. There's some other stuff that happens, and I don't want to reference everything in, for those of you who, like, skip the trailers and stuff. There's some stuff that shows what she does, you know, even later on in the season. So there's some stuff I'm certainly looking forward to. But as far as, like, this mini arc, how do you think she kind of goes through her time on 1313? How do you think she may or may not get off of Corazon if she decides to leave, you know, just right off the planet or go topside? I would love to know your predictions and expectations, as well as hopes for you know, all things Ahsoka. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.